So it was requested in the comment section of one of my videos that I make a video explaining how to add custom crosshairs and HUDs. I was a bit surprised to get a request already considering that the channel is brand new, but I'm more than happy to do specific videos that people want to see, so feel free to leave any request in the comments on any of my videos and I'll probably do it for you. So for those of you that don't know, HUD or HUD stands for Heads Up Display, and it's the content on the screen that you see that shows you HP, ammo, kill feed and that sort of thing. In the video you can see a comparison of the default HUD that comes with the game in my HUD called Gamer HUD that I made by modifying a much older, very broken HUD called M HUD. Besides these two, there's also Omar's R5 HUD which is different again, and that is all that you have to choose from at this point in time I think. Obviously this video is plugging Gamer HUD because it's my own creation, and I think it's the best of the three because of the permanent crosshair and the translucent pilot lines. You know, obviously I prefer the layout as well, so that's a personal preference thing. Yeah, so the health is centered and I've updated it with a new blockier font just today that's nice and easy to read. And the permanent crosshair stays on even when you're holding a weapon without a crosshair like a rifle. And if you aim downwards with the rifles, you can still see where the shot is going to land even though the iron sights move away from where you're aiming. The translucent pilot lines across the screen don't really get in the way in my opinion. It lets you subconsciously know where to flick to a little bit better since you know, you know, how far off a straight horizontal line you need to move your mouse to get to your target. But as for Tomas's question about crosshairs, this is a little bit more complicated. See the crosshair in Gamer HUD actually just draws on top of the game's default crosshair. The crosshair in game is totally dynamic and unfortunately can't be customized by default, but it can be disabled. So my workaround was to edit the hudlayout.res file to draw some lines to the middle of the screen creating a makeshift crosshair. And it's, it's the same process that allows a transparent backdrop underneath the HP meter. I'm just drawing boxes to the screen and they're thin, so they look like a crosshair. And so unfortunately, aligning these lines is really fiddly and it doesn't always give the same results at different resolutions. You'll notice that my crosshair is actually not quite centered in that it goes a little bit further up and left and it does right and down, but this is not fixable unfortunately, as far as I'm aware. And so if you want to try making your own crosshair, you can edit these two sections of the hudlayout.res file in the scripts folder of Gamer HUD, or you can copy and paste them and create more of your own. If you're not used to it, it might be a bit confusing at first, but it's all pretty much self-explanatory. You basically set the X and Y position of the top left corner of the line, and then you set how wide and tall you want it to be. Obviously, one of this is going to be 1 since it's a line. You can see some of them use C as a variable, that means the position of the crosshair as in like the dead center of the screen and then in fill color you can set the red, green, blue and transparency of the line that you're making. If you want to download Gamer HUD or R5 HUD the links are in the description below which will take you to the Steam discussion threads where they've been posted. If you have any feedback you can post it either on those threads or if it's about Gamer HUD specifically you can leave it in the comments section of this video. But that's about all I have to say about HUDs and crosshairs. If you like this video, hit the like button, and I'll be back sometime soon with some map tutorial videos. And special thanks to Jet Jaguar today, aka Michael Upton, who has let me use his music as background music for this channel. He's a great local ambient electronic music producer from here in Wellington, so be sure to check out his websites if you're interested. And there'll be links for those in the description as well. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.